What is up guys, COD Gameplay here, and today I have a game of Search and Destroy on Carbon. In today's game I go 12 and 1 with the MP5 silencer, and uh, for a little part of it I was even texting, I didn't realize I was going to get a gameplay. But uh, what I wanted to talk about today was uh, I wanted to ask you guys a couple quick questions that are really important, and then I'll get into uh, whatever else that I need to cover. But first off, I want to tell you guys that uh, I do have a Twitter. Now, I don't really say that I have a Twitter a lot. I usually just hide it in my description of my videos. But if any of you guys do have a Twitter, go into the description of the video and uh, click my Twitter and follow me. Uh, if you have any questions, any questions whatsoever, Twitter is a place that I always answer. See, this is the part that I was texting. But if you send me a message on YouTube, sometimes I can't answer it because I usually get around like 20 messages a day on YouTube. But Twitter, it's no excuse for me to never answer them. And I sometimes do open lobbies and stuff like that through Twitter. It's the best place for you guys to get to know me and me to get to know you guys. Another thing that I want to ask was that I want to know what time zone you guys are in. Because I've never asked this question before. But this is really, really important. And I find that not a lot of YouTubers actually ask their, their like audience what time you guys are actually on YouTube. Because whenever I post videos, I always post it usually around like 3 p.m., Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, and 5 p.m. Eastern Time. So anywhere from 3 to 5, depending on the day. If it's a weekday, I post around 5. But if it's a uh, weekend, I usually post around 3 p.m. Eastern. The thing is, I have spring break for the next two weeks. So I want to post a lot over the next two weeks, and I want to know exactly when to post. So what time zone are you guys in, number one? And number two, what time do you guys usually go on YouTube? And maybe even what day as well? So do you guys maybe not go on, like, I don't know, Friday? Or do you guys maybe not go on a Thursday because there's a test the next day and you don't want to... Or maybe you do go on this Thursday because you want to procrastinate for the test and I don't know. But just tell me what days you guys are usually on and uh, what time because that's really important to me and that's some awesome information that I can use. So uh, getting into one, one thing that I want to talk about again was that Search and Destroy. Now... In my roots of World at War, I played Search and Destroy religiously. I never played anything else, I only played Hardcore Search. And then going into COD 4, again, I only played Search. Modern for 2, basically only played Search. Then I go to Black Ops. Black Ops really, sadly, I hate to say it, but it really did ruin Search and Destroy for me. It really brought me towards Ground War more. And now I'm having a lot more fun playing Ground War, going for high kills, going for mobs and stuff. But before that, it was all search like this. And it was just so much fun, like outthinking the enemy and everything. But just Black Ops, what happened is that they had Ghost. And everything was way too slow paced, the maps, everything. I'm always built around Search and Destroy being fast paced and like flanking, flank, 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 and more flank. And then, if you wait, you lose, right? Every second is an opportunity to be rushing the enemy. And every second wasted is another second that you waste when you rush in the enemy. This nice little jump uh, jump spray, because I knew the guy was there. I was like, he has to be there. I heard him rustle around, and I jump over. Nice hit fire into ADS, and uh, you can never go wrong with that. But, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. I kind of like playing Search, but I, I kind of enjoy more playing Ground War. And it's kind of, it, it kind of upsets me because, again, like I said, my roots is in Search and Destroy. I, I love it to death, but I just can't play it anymore. And Ground War, it's just so much more fast-paced, and that's what I would love about Call of Duty. If I want to play a slow-paced shooter, I'll go play something like, I don't know, a uh, maybe a Battlefield. And you notice right there, you guys are probably thinking, why didn't you go for the AFK? What are you thinking? You have a Predator Missile, and you don't even go for the AFK. Are you retarded? But there's actually some logic behind that. The thinking that I had was that if the guy's AFK, hopefully he'll be AFK again, right? And if he's AFK again for like the next 30 seconds, I can rush down there, get a free kill as well. And why don't I not waste my Predator Missile on that AFK? Instead, I'll get that free kill later, right? But sadly, I don't even think that happens. I was rushing to, look, I was rushing to get the AFK, and uh, he was already dead, so it doesn't even matter. But I also remember, you always got to keep note of where people were on the Predator Missile. Because it is pretty much like a free Blackbird. You know exactly where they are, at free advanced UAV. And so I use that to my advantage. For the last kill, I know he's in that vicinity. And I see bullets coming from there. Oh, he hasn't moved even since the Predator Missile. Both of them. And uh, 
I can pick him up for the last kill. 12 and 1. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, check the description for my Twitter, like I said at the very beginning. Give it a like if you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.